Shalom friends and welcome to our very second episode here from the outdoors. Notice I'm not filming this special series from my office. The reason is because the Rivka journey that we are taking together is an outdoor journey. It's a journey into the wilderness and today we are here talking to you about those principles, those kingdom principles to make your remnant journey successful in these days ahead. In the very first episode, we talk about the power of coming out. But I want you to notice where she was coming out from because the text does not tell us where she was coming out of. Her name, Rivka, is mean the tomb, the burial tomb, the depth of Sheol. That's what her name means. And here in page 115, I explain to you that her name have two meanings. Listen to this carefully. In addition to the simple meaning of the word coming out, as she came out without delay when she heard the voice of the one who sent, that was sent by the groom, Yitzhak. She heard the voice of Eliezer. The, the, it says this, the principal interpretation is that she came out from the grave, or in Hebrew, Hakever, of Tum'ah or filthiness in which she was born, raising herself to the level of connecting with the word Hapoker, the morning or the light of holiness. You see, this word Rivka has two different meanings. The word Rivka here in the, te in the text can mean the, the the burial tomb where there is death because all around her there was a spiritual death. Or it can mean the morning, Haboka. You see, when Rivka set foot forward out of this journey, she is already before entering into the covenant with Yitzhak, she is already entered to the covenant with the God of Yitzhak. And when did she do it? Take the word of Rivka, flip the letter and you get the word Habokia, the morning, today, today she have done it in that day. Remember that Abraham entered into this covenant with God in Genesis chapter 18, when then in Genesis chapter 22, with the binding of Isaac, it says he did it in the morning. He went and took Isaac up early in the morning. You not need to understand something, that it speaks about the, the demeanor of one who wants to become the remnant. He cannot wait to the afternoon. He cannot have to wait for the, for the evening. He have to do it in the morning. Listen to this. Rivka was assisted the process of the birthing of Jacob into his fullness had to go through a process of personal resurrection and restoration before the fulfillment of her role. Where did she, when did she start to fulfill her role? Page 116, not when she met Yitzhak, when she set the foot out in the morning. Hapokia. This is the word that you as the remnant have to learn. Habokir. Don't settle for the kever. If you want to come out of your physical lineage, break curses, break things that pass down to you. The only way to do it is to rise up in the morning, meaning you have to be first. You have to run this race for the goal. As Paul says, I am running the race in perseverance. In essence, we say it like this. Take no prisoners and do not look back, never look back. And surely the kever, the burial tomb, will become a bokeh, the newness of a new covenant for you and for your household. God bless you. See you next lesson. Shalom, everybody.